hello guys welcome to the channel so on today's video we're just going to be talking about a price pattern which has given me a lot of signals in forex trading and that price pattern is what i call the wedge chart pattern so you can call this a wedge chart pattern or even the triangular pattern because what i've noticed is the wedge chart pattern and the triangular pattern have the same structures and you can trade them using the same uh, the same strategies all right so what is uh, let's just see what we have on today's video what we're going to be covering is we're going to just be going straight to the point we're going to be covering what is a wedge pattern we're going to cover that then what is a rising wedge what is a falling wedge and how do you trade the wedge pattern all right so uh, let's see so what is a wedge pattern you can see on my screen it says a wedge pattern occurs when two trends converge because have you ever seen a situation where you open your mt5 or you open your forex trading account and you see something like this. you see the market going up then now you start then you see the market going up then you start dying off like this all right so when it happens like this if i link up this point if i link this and i link this you see these two support and resistance line they converge at this particular point all right so they converge at this let me change it to red so that you can see so if i link this point and this point you see the market has been bouncing on support and resistance and at this point in time they actually converge, converge all right so that is why i'm saying a wedge pattern occurs when two trend converge converge when two trend line converge the support uh, the support and the resistance line all converge all right it can either be a rising it can either be a descending wedge or a rising a rising wedge so you can also have something like this where the market is going down then now you see something like this all right see this tells you that the momentum in the market is dying off the old days and indecision in the market so if i link this point and this one you will see it forms this which the market was going was going down it was going down and at this point it formed this so that is what they call a wedge that is what they call a wedge pattern in forex trading this is a very strong pattern and just knowing this pattern alone will help you to be able to generate a lot of signals in forex trading so another thing i have here uh, it says uh, which signals uh, which like a wedge pattern is a signal or a pause or an exhaustion in the current trend so it can either indicate it can either indicate uh, uh, a pause maybe the market is going down then it has a pause the market might be going down then it has let me let me put it very clear so talking about a pause the market might be going down then here you start seeing something like this so this this might just be a pause before the market actually breaks down and continue going down again so at this area this is where we call this is actually a pause there was actually a pause in the market or a, a pause in the trend before the market continued going in the uh, opposite direction so that is what i mean by a pause then they can serve as either continuation or reversal patterns remember on my past patterns i did mention of continuation pattern and a mention of a reversal pattern so this one can either be a reversal signal because the market can come here uh, after this pause it breaks on the opposite direction or after this pause it goes on the on the opposite direction all right so this can act as a reversal or it can act as a continuation of the current trend so that is what i wanted to make very very clear we uh, we have falling and rising wages that is what that is what i just explained this was this one is an example of a falling wages and then the first one i showed you guys was an example of a rising uh which with that being said let's see on how a uh, rising which just like i said what is a rise a rising which you can see here the market the market is actually you, the, the the conversion the, the the converge is actually forming an upward or an upward sloping structure right where the where where the support and the resistance converge in an in an upward manner because because you can see here the momentum start dying off if i have to call this this a distance from year to year arrow and then from year to year will be half will be half arrow and then from year to year will be maybe one over four arrow so you see the momentum start dying off on uh, on that particular trend so this is an example of what we call a rising wedge all right this is an example of a rising wedge then this is the same thing on the chart where you see this is mt5 so let me not just show you an example a hypothetical example let me show you guys an example on mt5 this is an example of mt5 where the market is going up where the market is going up then out of a sudden you see the momentum in the market start dying off 
When the momentum starts dying off and you link your support and resistance and it forms an upward sloping, it forms what we call a rising wedge. And now you can see this one was an uptrend, but now it changed the direction and it breaks, it breaks at this particular level and went in the opposite direction. That is why I mentioned the wedge pattern can either save as a trend continuation or it can save as a trend reversal. Because in this case, you can see the market changed the direction. The market direction was a reverse. All right. So this is a market reversal. Of which in this same situation something would it would have still there was a possibility that the market would have still broken this area and go in the opposite direction so anytime you see this kind of structures you need to be very very careful because there is an indecision at that level the buyers and sellers there's still a buy there's still a, a fight there's still a fight between the buyers and sellers and nobody has won the war at that particular point in time so that is where you, you start getting your buy stops your sell stops or you start having strategies that will enable you to get into the market and catch those quick movements when the market when the market actually choose a direction because at this point in time it can go either direction it can either break the resistance or break the support all right that is why i say it can act as a support or or it can act as a trend continuation uh, a pattern or a trend reversal pattern then let's go to the next one which is what we call the falling witch the falling witch is just the opposite the falling witch is just the opposite of a rising wave because now you see the two lines converge in, in a downward sloping manner you can see the market was going down then here the momentum start dying off and if you link your resistance and your support you can see it forms this downward trend which is what we call the falling witch formation all right and this is now an example on mt5 an example very clear example on mt5 when i took this screenshot you can see the market was actually going down then when it, it got to this particular level you can see if uh, when it got here you can see the momentum start dying off the momentum start dying off in the market the buyers and sellers there was still an indecision between the buyers and the sellers and see what happened see what who, who won the battle at the end of the day at the end of the day what happened the market break in the opposite direction so this one was what again this one was a reversal pattern of which anything could have still happened maybe this would have acted as a pause if this would have acted as a pause then the market would have you would have seen something like this then you see this you see this structure and then after that the market continued going down so this area here was just a pause all right this area here was just a pause of which now if the market actually comes here then instead of having this pause the market goes in the opposite direction then this one will come what a reversal all right so the market this trend can either act as a trend continuation or a trend reversal pattern that is what you are supposed to know all right now let's go on how you can be able to trade this particular pattern after talking on uh, the falling wage the the rising wage then also mentioning very clearly that this pattern can either be a trend continuation or a trend reversal pattern how can you be able to trade and another thing you have to be able to also uh, keep in mind when talking about the wage uh, price action pattern is that anytime you see this pattern in the market anytime you open your chart and you're able to spot out this pattern it indicates an indecision it indicates an indecision between the buyers and the sellers and after that particular pause so it can indicate just a pause it's just a pause in the market and after that pause the market can either break in the opposite direction or continue in the original trend so that is what you are supposed to notice talking about how can you trade how can you trade this kind of pattern okay here there are two ways uh, two ways uh, you can trade the rising and falling wish so there are two ways because remember here we can you can be trading what we call inner trading because you can see here we have the witch this is an example of the wish here so you can be trading the market is bouncing on this uh, support and resistance support and resistance so you can be trading inside this wedge or you can wait for the market to break that particular wedge. that is what i'm explaining so you can place a sell or a buy stop above and below the consolidation wedge lines to catch the moves when the market breaks all right when the market breaks or or another method to say you can wait or oh that is why i have all oh, year all right so you can try both methods to see which one suits your trading style or you can wait for the price to break and retest the wish before you enter into the trade this is the best method for me i wait for the market to break retest that structure and then i enter into a trade that will enable you to be able to know where to place my stop loss and where to target my trade to have at least a risk to reward of one is to two and then okay they say for inner for inner wedge trading, uh, trade in the direction of the trend. This is what I'm explaining. 
you can see here we have a falling wedge, right? Here we have a falling wedge. So if you are somebody who wants to be trading on this uh, resistance, this is resistance and support. So if you want to be trading this support and resistance, then you only have to be looking for said trade. Because you can see clearly the wedge is a, is a falling wedge. The market is going down. So if you want to look for any trade signal, you should only be looking for sell trade because this is a falling wedge. And if, if it was something like now, a rising wedge where you have now market like this and you want to be buying and selling, then you should only be looking for a buy for buy trade because the market is in an up direction. So this one, since it was in a down direction, you should only be looking for sell trade. Don't try to catch a falling knife or don't try to swim upstream all right if the market if the water is swimming downstream swim with the swim with the market if the big fish are if the market is going down trade with the trend only look for side trade and if it is going up only look for bad trend then talking about the break you can see here the market was actually the, the structure was broken so that way structure was broken so what you would have done is you would have wait, waited for the market to come back test that particular level and then you buy after that after that retest all right and when you buy after the retest your stop loss comes here your stop loss becomes what your stop loss is what is your arrow and what is your take profit your take profit should be two arrow all right so if your stop loss is if your, if your stop loss comes down here and it's 20 pips you must put your take profit at 40 pips so never take any trip that has a risk to reward of at least one is to two all right always take your trade with risk to reward of at least one is to two if your trade doesn't give you a risk to reward of at least one is to two pass on that particular trade so that is how you are able to place your target that is how you are able to place that is how you are able to trade this particular structure in the forex market with that being said we've come to the end of this uh, particular video so i hope you've been able to master how to spot out these structures on, and also on how to uh, trade these particular structures if you want to be able to watch the next video or the, the next video or the next price action uh, on our list this is the video right here and also watch this playlist uh, so that you can be able to watch all the videos on that playlist and if you like the way i teach and you've gotten some value from this video please click here to be able to subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the next video